Good evening, everybody. Just uh, make yourself at home and welcome to our virtual candlelight ceremony. I apologize for the delay. Of course, you know, this got sort of put together at the last minute, so I apologize, but I want to thank um, the folks from the Robert Fuller fandom and Stacey Schaefer and the folks at the Johnny Crawford Legacy page and Linda Crowley at the um, Midwest Nostalgia Festival and anybody and everybody that helped spread the word and share the information um, about tonight's little service. Uh, not sure how many folks we'll have here, but uh, yes, anybody who raises their hand, what I'm gonna do is the way this is gonna work is I'm gonna, I have a short five minute candlelight service that me and Stacy and a couple friends put together when we were in Canab. It recognizes 20 different folks that we've lost in the past year and a half. And I know it doesn't include everybody. There's a few people that I missed that I already know I missed. We're gonna try and mention their names at the end, as long as with um, Don Collier, which of course, because of his passing is what's brought us all together tonight, which um, is, is truly very sad and definitely the end of an era. Uh, I see that Tony Gill has joined us from England. So welcome, Tony. Um, if you do want me to call you up one at a time, uh, yes, please do your hand raise. And then what I can do is I can call you up as a panelist uh, with me and then you can chat. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and show this um, five minute video first, and then you'll see at the end. And then when we come back, maybe I'll, I'll call up some people. And then uh, Stacy has generously put together a really nice list of several names that I have forgotten. I thought there was just a few, but it turns out there's, quite a few. So <laughs> we will definitely try to read through some of these and um, and give a little moment of silence. I have uh, a couple of them. I, I actually did some of these little candles here. So as you can see, I don't know if you can see the little glow on them. <laughs> Zoom doesn't do so well. I might have to turn all my lights off so you can appreciate them. But anyway, so let me go ahead and share this one video with you. It's about five minutes long, and then uh, maybe we'll get a few more folks in here. And then uh, hopefully we can call some folks up here to uh, share some words about some of the folks that we have lost this year, especially more specifically towards uh, Don Collier. Um, like I said, he's kind of the one that brought us together. But if there's somebody on your heart that you want to uh, have us have a moment of silence for and certainly remember tonight. I think it's been a very crazy year and a half as well as it's been a, a crazy week. And uh, I think it just emphasizes how much we need to really be kind to each other and care about each other and really live in the now and appreciate each other while we can. So uh, let me go ahead and uh, play this short video and then we will be back probably in about five minutes. So again, thank you everybody for being here. I appreciate your patience. And um, if you have any questions or even if you if there's something you'd like me to read on your behalf, because I am taping this, so um, I will be sharing this with the families or anybody else that wants to um, to uh, be able to uh, you know share it, that that would be good. So post it in the chat if you could. That would be most helpful because um, it looks like people are just kind of posting hellos and whatever in the chat and the chat. But if you could post it in the q and I'm sorry, I said the wrong thing, post it in the Q&A, um, then I can actually read it if you don't feel comfortable getting up in front of this screen of empty people that you don't see anywhere. <laughs> but anyways, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to play this video and then we shall be back. We are gathered here tonight to celebrate some favorite stars under the stars, stars whom we have recently lost. These talented and creative individuals include Cloris Leachman, John Prine, Clarence Williams III. Richard Gilliland.
Saginaw Grant. Ned Beatty. Cicely Tyson. Hal Holbrook. Ed Asner. Orson Bean. Wilford Brimley. James Hampton. Kirk Douglas. Larry McMurtry. Lee Acker. James Drury. Don Wells. William Smith. Alex Cord. Johnny Crawford. Their lights will always shine as long as we honor their memory. Okay, so that was uh, just a little video that we put together while we were at Kanab. Um, and we're going to start trying to keep track of those who have passed from now on till next year. So that hopefully we can do something somewhere in Kanab next year, especially with all the plaques that are around um, Kanab. So uh, there was a few people, obviously, that were omitted from that. Um, I think I can wait until the end because, like I said, there is quite a list here. So we want to be sure to uh, uh, have a nice moment of silence for each person. Uh, if you have um, a candle at your house, you know, even a three wick candle or, a, you know, any kind of candle that you want to light on your own just to kind of have with you, you're welcome to do that. Um, obviously, Don Collier was a big drinker. So if you have a a cocktail glass, even if it's just got water in it, I'm sure he would appreciate <laughs> the thought and the gesture as we toast those who are no longer with us. But uh, I do have a few people that have their hands up that I think I was going to bring up here to say a few words. So Tony, are you still hailing from England over there? Yep, yep. Still, it's uh, middle of the night and beyond. But I, I didn't want to miss this, really. Um, it's kind of a, I, I don't know, it, it, we're here to celebrate lives uh, that have of these people, but you know, it's a sad time too. And you know, I didn't realize there were so many when you were putting the candles out there and some real um, close people, you know, Bill Smith, Jimmy Hampton, Alex Cord, James Drury, uh, 
so many people it's just unbelievable and you don't think about it till you see it like that but um uh it's kind of hard i got to i got to admit i mean when i saw don had passed that was uh that was kind of tough too i only met him the one time but you know he was a giant of a man but he wasn't a giant of an ego he was just a gentleman he was kind he was courteous um just the guy next door you know he was lovely he was lovely to everybody and um i saw recently that he was doing this this battle with cancer but it was looking positive you know but i guess that's how he was he was a positive guy and all of a sudden we hear that he's no longer with us so it's um i don't want to be sad about it but it's hard not to be but uh, i did get the drink for him and uh <laughs> You, that's but, the most important thing. That's good. Uh, and the candle. I, I don't have too many candles, but I wanted to light a candle tonight for all these great people that we've loved so much over the years, and we're going to miss them. We're really going to miss them. But as long as we remember, you know, they, they'll always be there. As long as we take the, that little bit of time just to remember them, to watch their work, and to revere it. It's. Uh, uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's kind of hard. It's it, Alex as well was, uh, you know, when Alex passed, I'd expected that coming, but that was, uh, oh, that was a shock. Even when it happened, it was a shock. He, uh, just another great guy that, uh, that we lost, but cheers guys. I'm, I'm going to miss you. Yeah, absolutely. So everybody cheers. Uh, well, I know that we all have at least to be grateful for so many of us have met through so many of these conventions and these festivals um, to see all these guys. So any of you folks that have, you know, assembled these festivals so that those of us who grew up watching these folks on TV and watching them in reruns and thinking and believing that we would never have an opportunity to meet these folks, it was really neat that we can honor them, but also honor them because we've met them, which is nice instead of them just having been people that we knew on television. So um, this was really nice to, to have an opportunity, but I you know, there's so many people I wouldn't have met. I wouldn't have met you, Tony, if I hadn't gone to the Memphis Film Festival years ago. <laughs> so, so we have yeah, Linda Crowley and, and Ray and all that. You know, thank for that. So, <laughs> so I, I just know. think, uh, you know, as well, just to talk about uh, Ray Nielsen's boy. I mean, that's tragic at 35 years of age. And I just want to kind of throw that in the mix as well. I mean, his thoughts are with Ray at the moment and the and his family. That is an unbearable thing to have to bury a child. It's terrible, terrible. So God bless him. Absolutely. Uh, we were going to do a nice little uh, moment of silence for him in a little bit um, as one of obviously part of our festival family and somebody, especially Ray, as part of our festival family and that for him to know that our, our thoughts and prayers and our love and hugs goes out to the family as they deal with this very mm -hmm. difficult loss as, mm -hmm. as well as we do to Dawn's family and friends and and all that as well um christopher nielsen was his name and uh if you want to certainly add him to the list and add ray who's been instrumental with the mid i guess it's the mid-south nostalgia festival now but has been instrumental in being a part of bringing us so many of those stars for so many years um, along with linda and bonnie and all those that that work it which we are forever grateful for that as well so uh, Ray, if you do see this, know that our thoughts and prayers are with you and your family at this difficult time. Um, yeah, so um, so Tony, yeah, thanks for being here. I'm going to go ahead and let Brenda say something real quick. Um, you're welcome to hang, or if you want to go go back to being an attendee, you're welcome to no, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'm going to wave everybody bye-bye now, but uh, this is a great job you're doing. It's wonderful. Thank you for doing it. Well, thanks for being here, Tony. We appreciate it. Well, as Carla comes up here, why don't you go ahead and uh, did you have a story about Dawn that you wanted to share or did you have something particular well, you wanted just, to share? Uh, I just had like a poem that I wrote for, I thought was only for the four people that was up on the thing, on the group today, but I didn't realize all those people had passed and I did not realize Cicely Tyson passed. Clarence Williams III, some of those were kind of a shock. 
Yeah, it's been a been a tough year for everybody. Year and a half, I guess. But uh, did you have a poem you wanted to read? Yeah, um, just a short one. Okay. And now the time is here to say goodbye to friends so dear. But though they live long and prospered much, we'll never again feel their touch. Their star has faded in the, into the night, never again to be so bright. As our friends all leave us here through heaven gains, gains for angels together near. So we bid goodbye to those so dear, Alex Cord, Don Wells, Don Collier, and Henry Darrell. And yes, we also extend our, and Don Collier. This is, this is terrible, we can't read your own writing. <laughs> Oh, and yes, we also extend the lasso to rope in Henry, Henry Darrow also. That's nice. Did you write that today? Yeah. That's beautiful. Thank you for sharing that. That was wonderful. Do you have a particular fond memory of Don that you wanted to share? Did you ever meet him? No, I never really got to meet him in person, but I really enjoyed talking to him on one that one watch party he was very enjoyable to listen to and I kind of felt like I could have listened to him all night he was a very gifted storyteller that's for sure he definitely had a story probably with every every star every movie every tv show <laughs> I was so hoping that I'd get to meet him but I guess it never I guess you know, there wasn't meant to be. I wanted to meet him in person so bad. Yeah. A watch party. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we at least were able to do those the last year and a half. Some of these folks, uh, it's nice. We're going to be able to, we're going to probably reshow the High Chaparral one that we did on Thursday night in homage to him, which was really nice. It had his Hubba Bubba Bubblegum commercial. And then of course, his one of his favorite High Chaparral episodes that will be showing along with him and Darby doing some Q&A. So uh, for those who I kept, when I was watching that watch party, I kept thinking I've seen him before. <laughs> and then you showed that commercial. I said, that's where I've seen him. <laughs> for those who might not know, uh, Don Collier was the Hubba Bubba Bubblegum guy with Dub Taylor and those old commercials, which were absolutely hilarious, which... I remember seeing a million times and I'm with you, Brenda. I had no idea that was him. So it's, it's funny how we can see somebody over and over and not see somebody, but, uh, but yeah. So I was trying to bring Carla up here. I don't know where she disappeared to Carla. Are you lingering in the background on me? So anyway, so thank you very much, Brenda, for your poem. Um, like I said, I'll, I'm recording this, so I'll be sure to share it with the family. And um, I, I'm glad that you could be here tonight. All right. Okay. Thank you for letting me share it. Hi. So I think you said you had a poem. Now I know you got to meet Don at the last convention he was at, right? Was that in Williamsburg right. a few months ago? No, that was in Salem, Virginia at the community church. Which convention was it though? Which festival was it? It was Happy Trails. Oh, was it Happy Trails? Oh, okay. Well then there right. oh, okay. You know, I have up until that time, I had never, ever attended a festival at all because I've spent the better part of the last seven years battling cancer. So I actually, when I saw Don Collier on Zoom with Darby that night, I had it in my mind, I was going. I wanted to go so badly and I got permission from my doctor. He took me off a treatment for three weeks and I called a close friend that I graduated from high school with and we took off and we went to this convention and the very first table I wanted to go to was Don's. 
I really wanted, I couldn't wait to meet him. And um, Jenny and I had a picture taken with him and Terry, Pastor Terry was with him. We had such a wonderful time and I, I've met a lot of, of celebrities there and everyone was just so gracious and so kind. I'll never forget it. And um, I was aware that Don was um, going to be in treatment um, for a spot he had on this lung. And um, I just kept him in prayer and it's been a, it's been a tough year all the way around. We have lost a lot of, a lot of really great Westerners, people that we, that I grew up with. And Don was the only one that I ever met. So, you know, I just want to say out of respect, I keeping everybody in prayer and, um, I know that's difficult. It's, it's difficult to, to realize how many of them have, have left us. But I do know God's in control and we'll just keep on keeping on and um, we'll miss them very much. I know I'm going to miss them a lot. And um, Thanks for having me on, Ginger. I, I, I really appreciate that. I was a little nervous doing this. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're doing fine, but you're making us a little seasick. Are you in a rocking chair? Yeah. Or are you, I are am you on a, a cruise ship? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a rocking chair. Sorry, that's a habit. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're kind of in the dark, too, so it's okay. But uh, did you say that you also had a poem that you wanted to read? Was that? Did oh, I hear that no, or no. no. Not me, that was Brenda. Oh, well. And that was a very beautiful poem she yes, had. It was. Yes. So, but thank you for allowing thank me to, to talk. I appreciate well, that. Jer no problem. Jer well, thank you, Carla. And thank you for sharing your, your thoughts about Dawn and about the rest of them. I'm sure they really appreciate it. So, and uh, get your candle ready because I'm going to go ahead and read the rest of the list. And uh, then we'll... I have three of them over here already lit, kiddo. I'm All right. Right ahead of them. <laughs> well, I'm going I'm to boot you back to the attendees then. <laughs> Okie dokie. Nice Thanks. talking. <laughs> For some of the other names that we omitted tonight, um, one of them was Art Matrano. That was one of Darby's close friends, which was funny because I actually went and watched the uh, comedy clip today. And I think I've actually seen people quote his comedy routine. So that was kind of interesting to, to know that about him. Michael Constantine, we lost Willard Scott, uh, Michael K. Williams, um, of course, Henry Darrow that was mentioned earlier by Brenda, Gavin McLeod that we all know and love from Love Boat and so many other things, uh, Stuart Damon, Don Everly, uh, Norman Lloyd, Marky Post, which so many of us know from Night Court, I think. And she might have been from stuff before that, but that might show my age. Uh, Christopher Plummer, which so many of us fell in love with for Sound of Music, even though he was the gruff Captain Von Trapp, but I'm sure he's <laughs> been around for a long time too. Um, and Gregory Sierra. So those are a few uh, that we already had. And then, um, I, of course, also had mentioned earlier that, uh, of course, Christopher Nielsen, Ray Nielsen's son, um, that they're having services for him tonight. So certainly keep Ray and his family and your thoughts and prayers as they're, as they're dealing with a difficult situation. Um, and then of course, as well as Don Collier, which we'll do a final send off for Don with our candle lighting and our, our toast. But I see my good buddy, Carla Ledford, who's one of my Bonanza friends, who I would have never met if it weren't for Bonanza. I'm going to go ahead and promote her up here. Carla, another person I've known since 99 at Bonanza conventions. Of course, you know, Don was a big part of the Bonanza lore. Uh, many of us got to see him at the last Ponderosa gathering in Arizona. So that was kind of nice. Hey, Carla, I haven't seen you in forever. It's been a while. Yeah, been a I while. Know. <laughs> I, I just wanted to tell a, a couple of quick little stories about when I met Don. Um, the first time I met him, I thought of my dad because my dad had the blue eyes and the, all the pretty hair and everything. But um, 
it was a Roy Rogers festival in Maysville, Kentucky. And Don was there with Bobby Hoy. And we're standing in line at the dinner buffet, which was set up around the swimming pool outside the venue. And we're just watching people go through the line. We're just standing there talking. And all of a sudden, Don looks over and he goes, what you want to bet? Somebody's going to wind up in that pool. And it wasn't two seconds later, this lady backed into the pool with her dinner plate and all. And we tried so hard not to laugh. We had to turn around. <laughs> we tried so hard. And then another time we were at the Sportsman's Lodge in Studio City at the bar. And it was, again, it was Don and Bobby and Ted Marklin. And we just had the best time. They were the greatest storytellers. And Bobby and Don were like brothers. As a matter of fact, Don called him his little brother because, um, he said something, Bobby said something, and Don looked at me, and he goes, now, see why I have to be around? I have to keep big little brother out of trouble. <laughs> he just, they were just all so friendly. I don't know how many times we got together with them, but um, I know one time was when I was writing for Bonanza Gold, and we did, uh, Debbie Bashirs and I did an interview with them, and we couldn't print all that they said, but I still have it all on tape. But I do have my candle burning back here. Aww. But, um, and all those others, it was like such a long list for just a year, a year and a half or whatever it's been. And it's just, I feel like uh, I'm losing all my, my old cowboy buddies mm. that I watched growing up with my dad. So I just wanted to tell those little tidbits so thanks Spencer. no that was great and uh no you so you met him a couple of times then so yes, you got to hang out with him a few times was he was he just as big a flirt every time that you I, saw him <laughs> well when you got the three of them together don and bobby and ted i mean it was a, a lost cause we just sit there and listen and laugh and just have a good time but yeah he was a little flirt <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna miss them. I was actually just watching uh, uh, Bonanza Under Attack, which he's in, just last week. I was watching that. It came on TV. It hardly ever comes on TV, but there it was. But um, yeah, I met all of the High Chaparral gang, and I didn't get to meet Linda, but I did talk to her on the phone. She was a little spitfire. But uh, oh, she was. She, we got done with that interview, and I'm like, whoa, I just need to sit down and rest. But yeah, I miss them. Miss yeah, them it's a. I, I was surprised just looking through the his list of credits. I mean, he's been he's done so many movies and so many TV shows and so mm -hmm. many commercials. I mean, the guy worked all the time. In fact, was working up until what he did, Bill Tillman and the Outlaws just a couple of years ago, wanted to keep on working. Nothing was slowing oh. him. <laughs> nothing was slowing him down. That was for sure. <laughs> nope. He was out there. <laughs> so we can all certainly take a lesson from his book to live life to the fullest and uh, yeah. always enjoy every moment of every day of every second with everybody, anybody and everybody that you're around. So exactly. Um, Thank you for sharing that, Carla. And so great to see you. Gosh, it's been, been a while since I've seen you. This, it this has COVID been thing is killing us all from not being able to see each other and hug each other and hang out with each other. So I appreciate you coming on and sharing that. Well, thank you. Um, I see Stacy Schaefer has her hand up. So I'm going to go ahead and promote her up here. My sidekick who has uh, been instrumental in helping with the, running a lot of the Johnny Crawford um, web pages. There she is. Let's see if she's going to show herself. <laughs> Hi. Here's my partner in crime in her pink. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to come on because I like to stay behind the scenes, but I, I am it, the, all these lovely words. I wanted to just read a part of what Bobby wrote about Johnny um, for the Canab Festival which of course I read in the video that you shared, but we didn't share it too widely uh, as far as the Western groups went. But this was something that Bobby posted for, uh, or shared with me to read to the Kanab 
uh, screening of the rifleman um, about uh, missing his brother, Johnny. Um, I do miss Johnny every day not being here and instead being over there, out there, where as I age and ripen here, so many of my loved ones have preceded him and he is now with them and he and they continue to be with me. As I feel and believe we in our unique spirits are all now and forever stitched together by our love and friendship in God's boundless cosmos. So I thought we should add that to the mix. And that's really all. <laughs> no, that was very nice and very heartfelt. I mean, these, especially these child actors and these people that have worked in the Westerns and have been at the festivals and renewed all these relationships. It's uh, It's got to be really hard for them. I know I want to send out uh, thoughts and prayers for Darby Hinton, especially. I invited him to come on tonight, but I'm not surprised that he opted out. Um, this has been very hard for him losing so many of his close friends. I mean, he traveled with these guys and he's lost so many of them this year. So I mm. encourage you all to definitely keep him and his family in, in your thoughts and prayers. I'm sure he'll bounce back stronger than ever as he heads off to Oklahoma this week and somewhere else the following week. And uh, he's got some big boots to start filling. He's going to be like <laughs> the main <laughs> attraction if he's not careful as one of our uh, last, last cowboys that we can... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I bet it'll be a good gathering in Oklahoma for the because I think that's it's a gathering of the the Western it, it's the Heritage um, Awards and I think those people will be able to to uh, um, grieve together and then he's um, doing the Lone Pine instead of the San Angelo Festival now and that's really hard on me because Lone Pine isn't that far from San Francisco <laughs> but it is as far as getting to to I mean it's like on the map it looks really close but driving it's about seven hours so <laughs> well I know it's him and Bobby Carradine's going to be there and I think I saw uh, Cindy Mitchum said that she was planning on being there too. So that sounds like that's shaping up to be quite a gathering as well. So I'm sure yeah. they'll all console each other and, uh, and share their Dawn stories and their Dan Haggerty <laughs> stories and their Johnny Crawford stories Sorry. and their, and their Alex <laughs> Cord stories and their Don Wells stories. And, <laughs> and we hope that anybody who is on tonight, tonight who gets to attend uh, any of these things will give us a good report. Yes, absolutely. We always look forward to just the pictures that get posted and any kind of information to, to plug us all in, which is much appreciated. So, so yes. So thank you, Stacy, for reading that. I see Paula has her hand up. I do okay, not know you who me Paula off. is. So Stacy, <laughs> I'm going to say goodbye to you. Bye-bye, everybody. Uh, Thanks for being here. So I'm representing for the High Chaparral Girls. And oh, guys. wonderful. Thank you so much, so much for being here. That's terrific. There's you my got your glass? Hi, Chaparral. Oh, glass. that's beautiful. Thank I already you. drank the contents. I had to stick a napkin in there so you could see the picture. <laughs> well, Don wouldn't want it any other way. So <laughs> yeah, he'd so be like, why it, haven't you filled it up again? It was, where's the bottle? Just drink out of the bottle. <laughs> so when my face continues to turn bright red. <laughs> that's okay. That we love you from. anyway. That's okay. <laughs> so I met Don originally in 2009 at a Memphis Film Festival. Ted was there, Henry was there, Bobby was there with Kiva, and Don was there with Holly. It was the first time I'd ever done anything like that, and so I was absolutely terrified. Mostly stood up on a little stairway and took, kept taking pictures of them sitting at the table. Pictures of them at the table, pictures of them at the table. My husband and my son went with me, but they went and entertained themselves elsewhere, and I met a lot of fans there. I met them through the Mark Slade fan club at the time, and um, I remember coming back down later in the evening for something, and Don and Bobby were walking through the um, autograph area in their sock feet. And I remember Don looked up and looked right at me and he goes, where's the kitchen? I don't work here. <laughs> I don't know. So that was a lot of fun. And um, then we talked about his voice, his famous voice. Um, not long ago, late at night, I was watching a Perry Mason and Don came on. And so I was going to punch my husband and make sure he noticed he was already asleep. I thought. So the next morning I said, guess who was on Perry Mason? And he goes, I heard his voice. <laughs> so um, I'll miss him a lot. Um, it seems hard to believe, but he was an amazing man. He was good to his fans. 
my love goes to his family. Uh, I just can't imagine what they're going through. And thank you for letting me talk. Oh, no problem. Well, thank you for being here and representing High Chaparral. Um, we know he was such a big part and all those guys had such an incredible relationship on that show. It just it just seemed to ooze charisma and camaraderie in that show. And uh, we had the honor with one of Darby's watch parties to show his I guess it's the one when he finds out his Follow daughter died. <laughs> yes. And so he did a little Q&A along with Darby in the commercial breaks, which was kind of fun, which we're going to reshow that it's on YouTube, but um, we'll show that again on Thursday night because he just had that wonderful laugh and he had that, you're right, that graggly voice. Oh, <laughs> we, all, we all knew I loved <laughs> If you're a woman, it's a whiskey cured voice, but if it's a guy, then it's a sexy voice, right? Absolutely. <laughs> it's a sexy cowboy voice. <laughs> yes, very much. Thank you for this opportunity. And I really appreciate what you've done to you pay tribute to him on such short notice. Very amazing. Well, we I couldn't let it go by without paying homage to him because he was such a big person and such a phenomenal cowboy and losing him just feels like a cornerstone of a of a building is is crumbled which is just really sad you know and it's just uh again we all need to to keep all their memories alive and it's wonderful that the shows are all showing and as long as we all are talking about it and and keeping the websites alive and keeping their memory alive then uh, we can certainly pass on to the next generation these wonderful people who were so instrumental in our our childhood I'm going to say cowboy fantasies. That doesn't sound right, but you know what I mean? Fantasy is a fantasy. <laughs> I know women are allowed to say that. It takes on a whole nother. <laughs> but anyways, but Paula, and we'll keep his you. mantra, you know, follow your heart. I think. Absolutely. That says it all. Is there any talk of doing any more chaparral reunions or was he kind of. He was, he was the cornerstone. Yeah. So um, we'd hope for something this October, but. Then he got his diagnosis earlier this summer. Um, a lot of the fans, I say a lot of the fans, anywhere from 20 to 50 um, are able to kind of impromptu get together. Uh, COVID has screwed up everything. Yeah. <laughs> so um, hopefully uh, a group will be there in March of 2022. And um, any of the Chaparral sites or the fan sites will mention it at least once and tell you where to go to look. Um, there won't be anything organized like a reunion. But everybody that is there to celebrate the High Chaparral, we do try to get everybody together for dinner and then say, oh, hey, by the way, if you'd like to go visit this, then we have a group that's going to go to Tombstone. Uh, hopefully we'll get to go to Mescal. Mm. Um, so, yeah, that'll be really up and running by then. They're doing a phenomenal job with that. Yes. Can't wait. <laughs> and hopefully go ahead. OTC, I mean, maybe. Might be open. Old Tucson Studios might be open. Oh, I was like, what's if, OTC? Over the counter? OTS. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Over the counter. <laughs> I told you I slugged it back. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just out of the loop. That's my fault. <laughs> no, it's OTS is what I meant to say. So hopefully well, it will I, be open. Well, I hope if, if doing this, is, if anything, this is showcased that, you know, between the Johnny Crawford legacy page and the Darby's Darlings and the High Chaparral and the Mid-South, you know, Nostalgia Festival and the Robert Fuller fandom, we've got so many of these fandoms, but yet we all obviously have a cross love for all things cowboys and Western. So I hope everybody will be encouraged to cross communicate. Of course, the Western legends round up in Kanab, which will be again next year. So, you know, cross promoting and just being one big community of fans that loves these shows and love these people that brought these shows to us every week that, uh, that this will open up communication and make sure that everybody knows it's okay to, to communicate with each other and, and help cross promote these things so that these events can be bigger and, and better Absolutely. and more fun and, and exciting. So definitely. Oh, and Bonanza. I didn't even mention my Bonanza. People. Bonanza. Yes. <laughs> See, so there's so many. The list just goes on and on and on and on. Uh, but anyways, but again, but, but thank you, thank Paula. You. Thank really, you from really the High Chaparral. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's a, a send-off word or something. What did they used to say? <laughs> riders coming. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't young riders. <laughs> <laughs> Strange riders. <laughs> Indian <Strange> riders. <laughs> Bye, Paula. Bye-bye.
I have a, something from Pamela Riley Pavkovich that says, although I never had the pleasure of meeting Mr. Collier in person, I loved him and everything he did. I really enjoyed the watch party. Mr. Collier was the guest. I am a friend of his on Facebook also. Thoughts and prayers are with his family and all who knew him. Uh, thank you, Pamela. Uh, Bill Munsell said, I wanted to meet Don too. I spoke with him via Facebook when he was complaining about doing a thousand piece jigsaw puzzle. Ugh. I complained to do a 10 piece jigsaw puzzle. So <laughs> that's good. Thank you, Bill. Um, Pamela Riley Pavkovich, I do have a candle burning um, in my honor of the foreman and all who have passed away this past year. Thank you, Pamela. Um, Brendan Mudrack says, I know Marky Post from the Fall Guy. That is good. Uh, Sherrod said, also Linda Cristal. That's true. Did he pass this year as well? We probably should add her to the list. Um, Bob McLaughlin, I would love to say something about Don, but I know I would break up. Don was a good friend. I live in Tucson, so I got to see him quite often. I'm really going to miss him. Well, Bob, I appreciate you writing a statement and uh, letting us share that at least. Um, as you just heard from Paula, hopefully there'll still be gatherings in Tucson um, as well as in Arizona. So hopefully we'll still get to meet you and we'll get to hear your stories in, in person was, uh, when things start to settle down a little bit. But we appreciate you being here and appreciate you sharing um, your thoughts with the family. Uh, Brenda said, finally found a candle to burn and got it lit for dawn and all the rest. Thank you, Brenda. Um, oh, Sharon's right. Don't, don't forget Kent McRae, although I think he passed a couple of years ago, but definitely Kent McRae was a, was a giant in the industry as well. Um, Carla says, I'm definitely going to view my high chaparral DVDs. I got the first season signed by Dawn. Well, it's time to crack them out and or I brush up on your high chaparral knowledge. <laughs> Brenda also said I wanted to meet him so bad after that watch party because I was going to find a pack of Hubba Bubba and take it to him and have him autograph it. So again, for anybody who wants to uh, watch our watch party that we did with Don and watched his favorite episode of High Chaparral, um, which is a very tearful, very uh, passionate, excellent uh, episode where Donna and Darby actually do some Q&A in between, you are welcome to uh, join us for that on Thursday night. That's in the Darby's Darlings, but uh, we also can get you a link if you aren't really interested in joining that group, which that's okay. <laughs> Christine Flint said, never had the honor to meet Mr. Collier, but have been a fan since I was a child. He was my favorite on High Chaparral, and I still love watching him. Also loved seeing him in other cowboy shows. He must have been a truly wonderful man in real life to have so many loving friends. My heart goes out to his family and friends. Extra hugs out to Darby and Terry, who have lost too many friends this past year. Well, I think Christine definitely... Um, echoes what we're all thinking and we're all feeling. Uh, one of the shows nobody seems to have mentioned was The Young Riders. There's an incredible episode with Don um, when his wife was kidnapped by Indians or taken hostage by, and she she's brought back and she has an Indian child and he has to deal with whether he's going to make that work. But it's a very rough and a very tearful um very interesting episode for him. So I don't know if anybody has seen that, but uh, it's really, a, he's had a pretty good recurring part in Young Riders, which was short-lived, but wonderful. And then of course there was the show, The Outlaws that he was in years and years ago. Um, there's not, I don't know that there's a bunch of those episodes out there, but uh, you know, the list just goes on and on. Uh, somebody had shared a wonderful video that was sort of a tribute to Don. Um, I don't think I have a copy of it. I think it's on YouTube. Oh no, it's on Vimeo as well as some people had posted in the group. So I'll try and get a link to that if anybody wants to watch that. Um, oh, I got a few more comments and then I guess we can close this out. So Pamela Jacobay says, I was blessed to meet and spend time with Don several times. I will miss him. Condolences to his family and friends. Um, and then Carla said, I saw it last week, probably referencing my Young Writers episode. And Brenda Mudrag says, I remember seeing the outlaws on YouTube. So if you're interested in catching that show, it sounds like. And then, of course, he's in Bill Tillman and the Outlaws, which you can get on One-Eyed Horse Productions site. They still are selling copies of that. Um, but uh, on that note, um, I think if, if anybody can think of anything else that they want to mention or talk about, uh, 
like I said, we still had an additional list of people. So maybe we'll have a short little few seconds of silence before we sign off. Um, if you do have your candle lit, what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna uh, turn on my laser so I can see this. How good that is, my little light, my nice little light. Um, I got too much light. Anyway, so this is in memory of Don Collier, a giant among so many people and so many things that he accomplished in his career to all our wonderful Western heroes and other heroes that we have lost this past year and a half. Uh, but let's continue to keep their memories alive. Um, if you have a drink with you, if you have a cocktail, we would like to toast to their memory and to their, the things that their accomplishments and to their wonderful uh, way they shared their light with the rest of us, uh, certainly do that. Uh, I think we'll take a, a few seconds of silence here, just bow our heads and just be in silence for a minute. Just think about that. And then uh, we'll wrap up here in about, about 30 seconds. So if everybody wants to just take a moment and just uh, remember these wonderful people. So again, thank you to everybody for being here, participating. Um, I know we probably forgot some folks, but hopefully we'll get them on the list next year. Um, in the meantime, as I always say, continue to be kind to each other. Uh, you know, always live for the now. You never know what tomorrow is going to bring. And uh, just be kind to each other and have a wonderful evening. And uh, thanks again, everybody, for being here. I hope you have a wonderful and a very blessed evening. Good night.